Hey, welcome. Fake, so you're taking a road trip. Not very far. Maybe 25, 30 minutes, I don't know. We'll see. I have a mess to clean up when I get back. I gotta be more organized if I'm gonna consider living in here full time. Uh, but that, again, depends where I'm going. So let's take that road trip. Open our door. I have to read the manual to get the AC unit up going. I think I just had the fan going off. I'll just push this in so it doesn't get in anyone's way. And away we go. Yeah, I have to read the manual. Like I said, I never focused on the camper myself. It wasn't meant for me. It was meant for someone else to enjoy. So, let's take that road trip. Stay tuned. Good day, good day. Here we are. Getting out on the passenger side. <clears throat> Didn't want to bore you with a whole bunch of stuff. I had some wedding bands. I wanted to show off a little bit for the last time. But I've taken that out. I'm going to show you where I'm at. Let's worry about Let's have some fun instead of worrying about all that other stuff. I brought a few snacks. I got my little piggy in their car. So here we are, Silver Lake picnic area on Highway 7. So you can dock your boat right there. Silver Lake Provincial Parks up the other end. Now, I'm gonna try to do it this way. There we go. So a nice area. Oh. <laughs> Gotta kill the bugs before they eat me alive. So there's a nice little area. Nice island over there. I don't know if you can get a boat to check that out. There's an opening right over there. I think you can see that. And then there's another opening on the other side. That could be an interesting place, but you know, you gotta be careful. I know Steve Ballas, if he had a, excuse me, a boat, he can dock it, go for a nice boat ride. So let's take a walk and we'll come back. <clears throat> so, let's see. I'm gonna try to hold my phone without falling. So I decided to get out and go to Silver Lake Campground, uh, Silver Lake Picnic Area, not campground. This area is open from, I think, 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. But it says no parking between nine and five. I know it's no camping. I mean, if it was camping, people would be here all the time. They'd be setting up and staying constantly. The place I'm at is a nice area. Uh, you could probably get away with a tiny little camper right there. If, and get the fingers out of the way, if, you know, someone was to get here fast enough. Other than that, it's just a nice place to come for the day. Let's do this side. We got the outhouse up there. I brought my own bathroom. I also forgot to lock the car. Oh, there we go. Yep, now it's locked. Mind you, I have the windows almost all the way down, so it's not really going to matter. But I'm not going very far. Thought I'd show it off. I was parked over here when I did my first part of my video. There's a dog over there. I don't want to get too close. So I don't want that dog chasing me. So I'm going to go back to my car. 
There's a big picnic area right there. Just a quick glance, that's all you're getting. Yeah, there's a lot of people that come in here. Mainly during the week, it's pretty quiet, but I think because it's Friday. I would normally come between Wednesday and Thursday. There's another one too, Skudama picnic area, uh, rest up. Really nice, but uh, I went there uh, three years ago and uh, on a weekend, it was really busy. It's just crazy. And then I came here three years ago to do a birthday wish. Birthday wish did come true, but I guess I should have stated how long the relationship should last. There's another area you could probably put a camper tent on or something. Level it off. A lot of bugs. This is a nice area. Let's go back to this area here. Yeah. Yeah, I made a birthday wish my kids gave me. It was my 50th birthday. And I wish to be with, happy with someone special. So, I can't say it went south. I mean, things happen. But this is a nice area. So this is like 25 minutes from my sister's place. Well, we'll say 30. So it's not very far. I'll probably go further down. Maybe we'll check out something else. Nice area. I just want to give you guys something different. When you're going to do videos, you got to do something exciting. You want to know how I'm doing? This is just like perfect though. I mean, really, if I could park my camper in Perth and live in it full time and work in Perth and be happy with the job that I have, you know, you make decent money. I'm close to this every year. The days off, come here, go down to Scudamore. I'd have everything I need. And I have this beautiful area when I want to catch a break from working hard. But the trick of, of being out in Perth and living full time up here is that I happen to love my job a lot. So that's the, that's the tricky part. When you love your job a lot. So, let's take time to enjoy. This is very relaxing out here. That's all I can say. It's very relaxing. If I could sleep here for the night, this would be perfect, but uh, they don't allow that. Oh, someone bringing their kitty cat outside. <laughs> Sounds like a dad and daughter. I'm not showing them though. No, that's be a nice area. I may have just over. We are not done the tour. I'm gonna to be driving down the road. I'm gonna show you the other side. I'm gonna see if I can show you the, the bigger picnic area that I put in my view. So we'll take a tour around and show you the sights. Let's take a look. I want to take a road, uh, take a, <laughs> take a road. I want to take a trip down Highway 7 and see what's out there. It's been a while. Ow. Sorry for my finger again. 
All right, so you know that I'm not driving in my vehicle on the highway. I'm just, uh, moving my car very slowly. There's a couple that's in front of me, so I'm glad I'm not having my camera viewed. Oh, she's cute though. Oh, I kind of miss the days of snuggling and cuddling. And I don't miss anything else. Everybody's camping here. Let's just take a walk around. I'm gonna park the car. Play the beach. There's no beach here. All right. So let's do this. I'll wait for them to leave. Yeah, I had suntan lotion on me somewhere, but, um, oops. let's see, that's Lysol spray, so I got a bunch of stuff there too, my cleaning supplies, let's take a look, this is Eric's Depot. Nice little pathway. I'm not going any further over there because there's a lady over there getting in her car. The cute one. Nice little path back there. Doo -doo -doo. So this place says no parking or no camping between nine and five. Technically it's no camping between uh, 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. I don't know where that sign came because everyone parks between nine and five. <laughs> Who gives a shit? All right, let's not get anyone in the camera. Let's go over here. Oh yeah, there's a dog down here. Oh, they took the dog there. Okay. I don't see the dog down here. <laughs> Let's do this. There we go. Doo -doo -doo. All right. Let's just. And I am right there. Cheaper on gas. My truck cost me 160 bucks. Pay like ninety dollars. Oh, here's someone with a camper. They're coming down here. I'm just gonna get out of their way. I'm gonna do a walk around. Yep, they're more daring than I am. There's another area. And then we go further out. I was here earlier doing a video but damn dog was barking so I'm out on the rocks right by the lake there's no way he's getting in here well he could get in here and turn around 
I did it with a truck camper. That's all, was, that's all I'd be doing, getting in here with a truck camper. I was parked right there. <laughs> Three years ago, made my birthday wish, enjoying my birthday presents my daughters gave me. As you can see, there's a camper behind me. There we go. Yep, this is called relaxing. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go down the road there and check things out. I wanna get out a little bit more. Ta-da! There we are. So let's mosey on. Let's do a full walk around. We've got fifth wheel. Yeah. Watch out for that. Oh. So let's just see that bump. At least they have it blocked off. But I was where I'm walking right now is where I had my camper and my truck. Oh, right here. This is where I was parked. Brings back some memories. Oh yeah. I was parked right here. And it was a nice area. I didn't stay long. I think I stayed like an hour. Walked around, opened up my presents. There's a subway down the road. I got subway. Ooh, that's a nice idea. I got subway and then came back here. It's like, you just, you get out, you have fun. And that's what I'm doing. So that was a tour of Silver Lake picnic area. And there's the other side. So you got the road, you can go up there. You got the outhouse. And you can park over there where that car is, or you park here. So now, I'm not gonna be doing any driving with the phone working phone running so <clears throat> thanks stay tuned and we'll see if we got any more adventures up our uh keister so let's see what happens next no surprises hello, hello, hello. we are in caladar about 40 minutes from where I was. Well, actually 30 minutes from where I was. So that's not bad, I made some good time. We got a gas station. Not sticking around. It's nothing out here. I have to go further up, but I don't feel like going too far up. I just thought I'd stop by. Check out everything. You can hit Renfrew and Pembroke from here, but that's like 133, 163 kilometers away. And I'm not doing that. So I thought I'd check things out. I thought Caledor might be a little bit better, but nope. I mean, it has a subway, a pizza pizza, LCBO. <laughs> That's closed. That's unfortunate. Then I should take a walk in, grab a drink actually. Um, I have to get on this side anyway, so let's do that. Let's see what they have. Get my fingers out of the way. So I will take a look across the street and see what they have. I think this would be more for a truck stop. But I'm gonna walk in the store and see what they got. Maybe see how much they cost for a booze. 
It's a nice area. Why not add to my videos? So stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right. It would help if I turn on the, the record button. So I went into the store, checking things out. And this damn thing cost me three thirty-four. I think I should stick to Walmart, grab uh, a nice drink from there when I'm in Smith Falls. That's expensive. Uh, liquor stores closed. They have the subways open. I don't see a pizza pizza. So I'm going back to Perth and do some more videos. We'll see. I'm just going to add to it though. Not bad. So, yeah, being in Calador is not too bad, but it's not great either. Um, well, we'll see what happens. There we go. I am not driving with this camera going. I don't do that kind of video. Uh, normally, some people that are doing videos, they have their camera on and off. I need a pause button. That's what I need on my phone. I need a pause button. I don't have a pause button. I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, see what I can do about a pause. But, um, stay tuned for more videos. Lots of cool videos. Um, it's probably like the best road to do some videos because there's some really nice places. And going to Scudama, there's some really great place, uh, places up there too. So I'm going to head back out. Stay tuned because. Well, let's see where the road takes us. Hey, you know, that's it for today. Did the uh, trip down to the river, to the lake. Silver Lake campground, Silver Lake picnic area, I should say. And now I am just grabbing a few little things that I need uh, for the weekend. Um, and... Uh, here in Perth. So the giant tiger. I'm gonna try the giant tiger, see what they got. See what's interesting, maybe something I can use for this thing. Um, and see, uh, yeah, just see what's going on. So thanks for watching. Uh, I thought I'd make it a real interesting show today. And, uh, you know, check out the sights. So this is it. Uh, it was a fun day. It's only like 1.30, so I'm gonna have a late lunch late supper and uh see how everything is just try to enjoy the rest of the day maybe go for a bike ride since it's not raining today so maybe there'll be another video stay tuned have a good one